Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of What Would Floramet Do? An insight into how I would do my things. And if you are new here, you are super duper duper welcome. I hope you stay long enough to know what we are all about. And if you are my number one, day one, day one, day one, you are awesome, my boo. You are extremely awesome. Guys, I would love for you if you do subscribe on the subscribe button down below. I would also love for you if you would like this video. Do leave me a hi in the comment section down below because I would really love to hi you back. So on today's topic, I'm going to talk about a subject so touchy that I'm afraid for my life. Okay? We are in a journey. We are in a journey of learning. So stick it to a pill and learn together. Okay? So, are you the type of person who is currently in a situation of despair, you feel unmotivated, you feel you have no energy, you feel you have no joy or happiness left within you? Are you currently in that state? My boo, one thing I will tell you is that I know that position very well. A little backstory, me, four years ago. I was in a place of a total despair. It was a dark, figuratively and literally, it was dark in my life to a state or a point that I did not want light in the room. Whenever people entered and left, light would seep in, that would annoy me. I was so depleted. I didn't want to fight for anything. I didn't want to fight for anyone. I didn't want to be anything. I didn't want to try. I didn't want to try to be good. I didn't want to try to be bad. I didn't want to try to literally nothing. The joy, the happiness had left me. But four years later, here we are. Ever seen a more beautiful smile on this one? I'm sure you have, but flatter me. What I am here to tell you is that the darkness surely does pass, okay? I know it's a cliche, but that cliche is true, okay? It is very true because there is one thing that is certain in life and that, and that, that is if the sun goes down, tomorrow it will surely go up again, all right? And I know when you are in a place of despair where you are unmotivated and you don't feel anything, like the sun rising does not do anything for you. Good that's why i'm here fairy godmother is here so that you and i can be on the same page and literally try to drag ourselves out of that place because i won't lie it's not an easy process so most of the time i literally had to drag myself out of the pit of darkness okay so i want you and i to be support emotional support bodies okay i want to help you drag yourself and i also want you to drag yourself are we promising ourselves that scouts honor how, how, how is scouts honor done yeah scouts honor so in a case where i feel depleted and there is no joy there is nothing in me that says the light will shine again what would flora met do good question what would i do a little backstory again there was a time I succumbed to all my feelings. There was a time I told myself that this is who I am. I am depleted like that. And there is nothing anybody can do to take me out of that position because that is me. And I lied to myself so much in that state that I, I literally felt like my lies were true. The worst thing you want to do to yourself is tell yourself all the negative scenarios that are out there in life that are not happening in you and the, another terrible thing that a human being can do to themselves as difficult as life is is literally allow and succumb to the situations that life throws at us all right so Many more will be revealed, but I am cutting short my backstory there because I want to come into what I would do in that situation. I will tell you the trial and proved methods that literally helped me come out of the situation as clean as possible. All right, because I do know that in a case where you feel like that, 
a lot of times we mess up a lot of things and i did mess up a lot to a point where i felt like i won't have any other opportunity in my life to redeem myself because of the extent of the damage that i had caused for myself and the people around me so one thing that i did delve into was literally coming into myself and figuring out what am i feeling what is it that keeps me caged like i was caged i soon realized that it was um, related to a trauma of mine so that was great that was first move and now that i know the root cause of what had happened i listened to a lot of people who were making it in life in a sense of flourishing mentally spiritually and physically as well and i listened to them and then i sought out some wisdom from them and that's how i came across 5am club as well and then i was like you know what i'm gonna give myself a shot and then i'm gonna try to work this thing out myself i often felt like i was a very timid person like i did not have a very strong mentality but then again i had to force it within me i'm still struggling to this day but i enjoy the fact that i i, I try i stand up on a day and strive towards being mentally strong so i did things like journal spend time in the word of god or spend time in prayer i took the time to actually give myself the grace that i needed because nobody was going to give me grace already they did not understand what i was going through so i needed to give myself the grace because i know exactly what i'm going through and then i needed to again start waking up i needed to start living again i needed to get out of my bed i needed to uh put lights on i needed to open curtains so that light can literally sip in so that some form of hope is restored eventually you get to a point where a system is working out for you and i feel like you will find a system that will work out for you as long as you are committed to the journey of your own healing because unfortunately the harshest truth that i met in my four years of being in that state depressed whatever it is is that nobody absolutely no one except for jesus who has already rescued me will come and rescue me from that pit i need to put in some work and drag myself out of there so i hope you do the same because you and i are the same if you've watched to this point, thank you so much. You are the awesomest. If you haven't watched, I am not going to say anything to you, sir, ma'am. If you haven't subscribed, please do click on the subscribe button down below. Do not forget to like and don't forget to say your hi's in the comment section down below because I would really love to hi you back. Take care. Peace.